Today I'm doing a review of our A2124 Alto by Safari Condo. We picked up our Alto in May, I think it was May 13th. We've done a lot of camping since over the summer. Uh, we took a five week trip uh, mainly to uh, Magdalen Islands, Les Îles de la Madeleine in Quebec. Beautiful trip. I have videos on that you can check out. And we came back through the Gaspé Peninsula. It's very beautiful. We were gone five weeks. So we had plenty of time to experience uh, traveling and living in the Alto. We really loved the experience. And of course, there's things we really like about it and some things that we uh, like less, but overall we are very, very happy with this trailer. And I'm gonna cover just about everything I can today in this video, so this one will be longer than most of my videos, but stick with me if you're interested in this type of trailer. Now, as you can see from the design of the trailer, the front is uh, different than just about any trailer on the market. Uh, and it's designed that way for the aerodynamics. It was actually inspired by uh, Tesla owners who wanted to have a trailer they could pull with their Tesla. And uh, Safari Condo, I, I think from the story I heard, gave in to uh, the request of these owners and designed this trailer. So it's very aerodynamic. Our experience towing it with our tow vehicle, the Chevy Colorado, is great. Uh, the, the trailer weighs about 3,000 pounds and our previous trailer, the Cricket, weighed 1,500 and I think I'm getting equivalent gas mileage uh, towing this than I did with the Cricket. Maybe even better. So the aerodynamic is really good. Um, it is a bit harder to pull, of course, than the 1,500 pound trailer. Uh, it's higher, so it does, uh, uh, you know, get the side wind, especially when there's side winds. We added the um, anti-sway bars or the torsion bars, weight distribution kit, they call it, uh, to help that, and it did improve uh, how it handles when towing. Uh, so let's go through the, uh, the trailer. The thing about it is great for aerodynamics, but you do... Uh, compensate for the space in the front. I'll go through that when we go inside. What's nice too is that the um, propane tanks are inside so uh, they're not exposed. This of course is for the aerodynamics but it keeps everything nice and clean. Uh, we love that about that too. We feel safer with that. And another thing there's plenty of storage. Uh, one of the other trailers we liked was the Airstream series. Uh, we love the interiors. We love the interior of this as well. But the Airstreams were a lot more expensive and there was a lack of storage space uh, on the outside and we found that as a pretty big negative. So when you're going on a long trip, uh, even with the pickup truck where you have a lot of storage uh, in the bed, you still we found we still needed the, uh, that nice storage space we have in this trailer. So let's take a look at that. Nice storage space right here in the front where we keep our hoses and all the attachment stuff. For the fridge, two vents. This is the uh, side window that is for the bathroom. This was an option. Doesn't come standard. You have the outlets for the uh, plug-in for the electricity. You have, of course, your uh, fresh water tank filler, your direct line for the water. Here is your outdoor shower. Comes in handy, especially to walk, wash the dog. <laughs> you have here your gray water and your black tank uh, to discharge. Your fresh water discharge right here.
What we love about this is the windows. That's basically why we chose this model over the other ones, is that there's just so much windows. It gives a great feeling of airiness, and especially in the front here, these large windows. And this is what the A design afforded, was to have these nice windows. Now here in the front, you have the air conditioner. So rather than being on top, the air conditioner heat pump is right here on the side. You have to open this to function it. You have outdoor plug here. When you're plugged in, a vent for your hot water heater. And you have storage space, nice storage space. But you could put a lot of stuff in these storage areas. So this one goes right on the side, up on the side. These go, these are under the bench. It goes right through to the other side. You have another door there. Really a lot of storage. As you can see, the roof on top is pretty clean. You just have the max air fan. And because the air conditioner's on the side, that really helps with the aerodynamic. Now the solar panels work fantastic on this. Uh, right now, uh, the battery's full up, just sitting here charging. Uh, so there's no need to even plug this when you have sun. So you can boondock for quite a while with this. Let's take a look inside. So when you walk in on the right is the uh, dining area. You have a nice uh, pyramid, A-shaped dining table. It's called a lagoon table. You can move it. It can lower and then these cushions will go on it to form a bed. Now Safari Condo claims it's a double bed irregular and it sure is irregular. So once you set it up, it's, I forget the dimensions, but it's definitely not suitable for two adults. Maybe two small kids or one adult can, can sleep there, but that's about it. So it's really um, not a great bed situation. Now, some people find this a uh, waste of space. We like the uh, nook, call it a little nook in the front here. Uh, this is where we uh, put stuff. Uh, you know, I like uh, putting fresh fruit there, baskets. You could put flowers if you have those with you or pick up some wildflowers when you're walking around. Uh, you could just, you know, put some magazines, whatever you want. So it's a nice little storage area, but it can get messy. So you have to maintain that. <laughs> so on the left, as you walk in, you have your kitchen area. You have your lounge and sleeping area turns into your bed in the back here nice size king bed your bathroom i'll go through that you have a thing to hang uh, your hat or keys have a nice uh, magazine rack or whatever you want to put uh, you have the fridge really nice size fridge freezer And you have a nice closet right above here. Put a lot of stuff in there. Very nice. Have a little towel rack here. We like the uh, windows a lot. It's really beautiful to sit here when you want to. Even if it's raining, it's really just nice to look out at these big, huge windows. And we like that storage space in the front as well. There's also a fan over here, which is standard. Uh, that's uh, really to help when you use the air conditioning because the vents are over here in the front, it's to help push the air to the back. And these are really good fans. 
we opted for a stereo system a radio so you have the speakers up here one over there and one in the back let me go through the uh, each of the areas and I'll talk about what are the options we included now when I was talking about the solar solar power is an option uh, they work really fantastic as I mentioned before uh, we also opted for lithium batteries I believe it comes with just one battery and um, you could either go with uh, regular AGM uh, I believe uh, we opted for the lithium package and we're really happy we did it's uh, they're great storage um, batteries kitchen area features a sink good size sink we're happy with the sink we prefer a better faucet so we might change that but that's what comes with the sink the stove top is uh latest from dometic uh works really well it's got this electronic uh sparker so it's really easy to light versus the manual ones the thing about this i mentioned in a previous video is the cover the bolts are poor so with all the banging around now what we do when we travel we take this out so there's less movement because this came off and so did the covers here from underneath the screws and there's no way really to screw them yourself so Dometic, or actually Safari Condo replaced the stove top. I have a video about that. So all in all, it really works well. We also opted for this extra flip up table or shelf to give more space for cooking because I like to cook a lot. The microwave is an option as well and also the inverter this is a 2000 watt inverter and we opted for the uh, max air fan which is an upgrade from the standard fan which comes with this now one thing i mentioned about components uh, safari condo does really use good components as standard uh, or optional uh, we didn't have a choice of brand, but I know this brand, Zantrex, is really one of the top brands for uh, inverters. It's 2000 watt, so we're happy with that. On the right here, nice big mirror on the outside here, and another one on the inside. Nice size bathroom. As I mentioned, uh, the window is optional but we decided that it would be a good idea and we're happy we did really good i think it's called thetford toilet is the brand nice little cabinet over the uh lots of toilet paper <laughs> over the toilet there's the shower so it's a combo toilet and shower and to use it, you, you, you open the curtains, uh, line them all around. There's a track that goes all around. And um, you take your shower. Uh, it's really, it's a nice shower. Maybe I would prefer a better nozzle or something I can hang up. But you really want to conserve your water. So having something that you, you know, you need to press the handle, you can lock it but then there's nowhere to hang it. Uh, but it's a decent shower, it works really well, and we're happy we have it. Now talking about storage here, you got plenty of storage, both over the cooking area, so lots of storage underneath, uh, plenty of space, your cutlery, and all types of dishes and these pull out some of them are a bit stiff so they may need at first some a little bit of WD-40 or something you have it on both sides so storage space is not an issue 
as we move further in the back here on the right side you have your closet where you can hang up stuff as you can see where we haven't emptied anything because we're planning more camping it's the control for the air conditioning and then you have your seating area here in the back again lots of storage up here the radio really a nice pioneer sound system plenty of storage here's where we put our bedding uh, during the day we like making the making up the sitting area here every day so we roll up our mattress i have another video about that it's really got plenty of room for uh for your clothing no issues there lots of nice windows in the back and then you also have the storage area underneath that's accessible from the outside that i showed so lots of uh, options for storage over here is where you have your furnace and your controls to close the water and open it really good heating system now one thing is nice uh safari condo gives you these black cushions just like a wedge so that when you put the bed cushions up they don't hit the the window so if you have the screen down uh and the the cushion in front it doesn't go into it so these cushions form your bed very easily a nice bed now just roll out your toppers and your uh your bedding and uh you're good to go really beautiful king size bed very comfortable but we use, of course, a, uh, a topper, uh, latex toppers. I have another video about that. Check that out. Here is the uh, control panel or your information panel for your battery. Of course, you have another one here that is uh, because of the solar panels. So you have this one. But this is the one that comes with the standard. And you also have an indicator for your fresh water, your gray tank, and your black tank right here. You have outlets for USB uh, to charge your devices. You have a switch to turn those on. And they do emit a blue light. And you have your light controls here. Nice LED lights over the sink. And, uh, of course, the ones up here. thing that we aren't too crazy about is where the options are for charging ports, these over here. Uh, when you're cooking or washing, you don't want to have your devices plugged in uh, on the counter because, of course, you could get water, you know, splash things on them as you're cooking. But that's really the only ports uh, other than in the back here with the lights. So you have your lighting here. These lights come down, your night lights for reading. And there's a port up here on either one. So you have one on either side. There's another one over here. And that's the other charging station. But to use this... You, Pro, what I end up doing is putting the device in the closet and then running the wire there. Not a huge deal, but I would have liked to have seen more charging stations uh, for 12 volt. Uh, there are other plugs like over here. And in the front, there's another plug here for, but this is only uh, works when you're plugged into shore power. So I would have liked to have seen more options for uh, charging devices. 
the other thing that light uh, in the back uh, that you use as a reading light uh, this one over here it's very bright and the you only have two positions bright and extremely bright and uh, would have liked to have been able to dim those more because they don't work with the with the dimmer uh, for the roof lights and um, I would have also liked to have seen a red light as well we had that in our Cricut it was really cool to be able to uh, use the red lights at night really had a nice feel to it so Safari Condo add option for red lights and uh, more control to be able to dim those reading lights in the back I would suggest I'll talk a little bit about the options that we added to our unit. We added the Max Air fan, which is a higher end fan than the standard that comes with it. Um, we added, a, as I mentioned, the inverter, 2000 watt, and that enables us to use the microwave uh, when we're not plugged into shore power. I've done that and it's worked fine uh, with the batteries and being able to charge with the solar panels. So the microwave is an option too. Uh, we, did, we opted for it. We actually don't even use a microwave at home, but we decided to add that and I'm happy we did because it's come in handy a few times. I even cooked some corn on the cob and that came out great. Uh, the other options, as I mentioned, was this little table, which I'm really happy we added. Uh, the air conditioning, of course. The uh, window here in the bathroom. We were gonna add a sink in here and we decided against it and I'm glad we didn't. The other option, uh, as I mentioned, was the radio, which I'm really glad we added. And we didn't go for the television. And sometimes I'm sorry about that, but um, I use my iPad to watch shows that I download from Netflix and Amazon Prime. As you can see here, we're at 13.8. It's not even charging because the battery is completely full. And that's just from the solar panels. So fantastic as far as charging. No issue there. The other option I just wanted to mention was the uh, awning. That doesn't come standard either. So I think I've pretty much gone through it. Uh, just to summarize, uh, it's a great design if you're looking for something aerodynamic. Oh yeah, that's something I should mention about the aerodynamic. Underneath, uh, everything is uh, covered. So that was designed for the aerodynamic and i'm hoping that it actually adds a little bit of insulation so when we go camping in a couple of weeks i know it's going to be below zero uh, at night and probably above zero during the day so i'm pretty sure that we shouldn't have an issue with uh, freezing uh, because i did camp in our previous trailer the cricket like that and we never had an issue so I'm just hoping that it's even better with everything being uh, covered underneath. So it's really nice uh, trailer. We love the decor inside as compared to most trailers. The quality, it's, it's very good. Uh, the service from Safari Condo is excellent. And um, we're very pleased with, uh, with our investment. The only uh, recommendations for improvement would be maybe some USB ports, 12 volt charging, other than just over the sink and in the back where it's hard to reach. Uh, maybe add a bit more lighting options for the night lights, like a red light. Uh, can't really think of much else. It's, if you're thinking of this type of a trailer, go for it. It's uh, not the least expensive on the market, but like they say, you get what you pay for. Hope you find this help helpful. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We uh, post videos uh, as we travel, 
I'll try and talk more about the Alto besides just showing where we're camping at. Thanks for watching.